Hey guys, this is a time lapse of uh, my trip to Canada and uh, we start out our trip from home with a full charge and then we stopped at uh, Smash Burger for lunch and that's where this uh, video starts which is about five, five miles from home. Our plan was to go from lunch at Smash Burger to Binghamton's Supercharger which is just about 160 miles from Smashburger with roughly about 240 to 245 miles of range uh, you would think that you can make it to Binghamton Supercharger but somewhere like around the 60 mile mark the navigation rerouted us to Tannersville Supercharger which is about 65 miles away from uh, Smashburger so that's where we ended up stopping to charge for about to 10 minutes. The Tannersville Supercharger is located in a really weird place. It's like all the way in the back and it's like a dead end yet to find. So sad. Couldn't make it to the Supercharger stop that we wanted to. We were supposed to go to Binghamton but we had to stop at uh, Tannersville so if we would have gone to Binghamton, we would have maybe 13% and it kept on dropping. So we stopped at Tannersville, Pennsylvania to top off a little bit before we go on again. Not a good trip car so far. I really don't like these uh, off the highway superchargers. They're not very convenient as uh, the ones that are located uh, on the highway rest stops because First of all, you don't have 24 hour of access to food and bathrooms. So if you're stuck uh, driving at night and you, you happen to stop at these superchargers, there's nothing to, for you to eat. There's not, nowhere for you to pee. You might as well be peeing in the bushes or taking a dump in the bushes. Um, and also, they're a little iffy to me and my wife was really uh, put off by how these superchargers that are off the highway um, are not so safe because in essence when you're supercharging your car is disabled so just imagine you know you are basically a sitting duck and if anybody really wanted to rob you they could and just imagine that in the middle of the night and you're traveling and you have to supercharge in these off the highway superchargers no one is there to watch you there's no cameras around so basically your car is disabled you can't even get away if you wanted to so you're really a sitting duck and if they really wanted to rob you there's not not a damn thing that you can do to prevent them from robbing you i really hope that tesla would put more of these superchargers in highway rest stops and not these off the highway ones just so that they can brag about having x percent of the country covered by superchargers We've arrived at the Binghamton Supercharger, which is another off-the-highway supercharger. It's been one and a half hours and uh, we traveled 98.6 miles from Denville, Pennsylvania. We charged there for like about 10 minutes to get enough juice to come here. And we got here with uh, 49 miles left. So let's, uh, we're going to plug it in uh, so that we can get to the next uh, supercharger. In Syracuse. Charger. For today. Alright, it says 15 minutes to continue on your trip. Let's see what kind of uh, what kind of power we're getting. Okay, let me go outside. Go. This mom. Okay, go. Okay, go. Bye. Bye. So we are getting are 90. Ooh, 100 something kilowatts. Hold on a second. This is going to be interesting. So we are getting 103 kilowatts. 103 kilowatts. Pretty nice. So let's see how long. Right now we're getting about uh, negative 11 to the next 
uh, supercharger, which is Syracuse. We, I, I really need about like a 25% buffer. So we're going to leave the car here. See, uh, let's see how long it's gonna take. Right now, it's got a 104 kilowatt charging. They said about 15 minutes. And uh, we're gonna walk across to Sonic, which is over there, to uh, grab something to eat. These supercharger handles had a lot of um, spider webs on them. It just tells you how often people actually use these. We walked to Sonic, which took about five minutes, and uh, ate there, and then uh, came back. Uh, the whole thing took about 33 minutes, and uh, we got about 41% uh, more, which put us to about 61%. And it's estimating that we're going to get there with about 26% uh, left when we get to Syracuse's uh, supercharger. So it looks like uh, we're done charging. We've been here for, uh, I don't know, 50 hours, I guess. I don't know how many minutes has it been, but uh, we have a good buffer left, which is 25% if we get there. <laughs> Here we are off again to the next supercharger which is in Syracuse, New York, 75 miles away. It is another off the highway supercharger. These off the highway superchargers, they add another 10 to 15 minutes at least to your trip. So you have to get off the highway and then get back on again after you've done supercharging. In Syracuse, we ended up going to uh, Taco Bell slash KFC. Uh, we had to actually walk there uh, on the side of the road, which is kind of dangerous uh, with your kids and, and your wife. It's, it's definitely not uh, what you would expect to do um, while you're supercharging. Um, it is not safe at all. Tesla, stop putting these superchargers in shitty places. Yeah, just notice how beautiful the time lapses are of the sky and the clouds. I did try to enjoy the drive using autopilot when I could. Uh, did I tell you that autopilot tried to kill us a couple of times? Luckily I was alert and I took control of the car when that happened. So it didn't, it didn't really run us off the road. But uh, yeah, something is definitely wrong with my autopilot. After eating at KFC with the family, uh, I took the lone walk back to the car. It took about 10 minutes for me to walk back. Uh, and as I was making my update video, uh, a black Model X, the exact opposite of mine, pulled in and I had a nice chat with the, the other family who was going to Toronto also, coincidentally. But I had to cut it, the chat short uh, because I didn't want to beat down by the missus uh, for taking too long. When I told her about who I met, uh, she said, I figured. <laughs> Here's the other Model X coming to supercharge. Again, I'm the only one. Gotta have a picture with the wings up. So when you're done charging, here's the message that comes up telling you that it's done, completed and you can continue on your trip. So there you go. And uh, we have about a 14% buffer, which is uh, okay, I suppose. Not too great, but I uh, probably want uh, a little bit more of the buffer. Maybe another minute or two here will give me uh, a little bit more. Um, let's see. So I have about uh, 207 miles. It was a good thing that uh, right after that video, uh, I got interrupted by uh, the Black Model X that came uh, and I spoke to the family for an additional 10 minutes that allowed me to charge for a little bit more time uh, because when I got the Buffalo Supercharger, I only had 10% left and it was only 130 something, 38 miles away and I had over 200 miles when I left, I mean, probably like closer to 220 miles 
when I left by the time I finished talking to the uh, other Model, Model X owners. So yeah, arriving with 24 miles left is uh, pretty, uh, uh, the, it peaks your range anxiety, let's say, just say that. So uh, the Buffalo Supercharger is another supercharger that's way off the highway, uh, really off the highway. It was not in a uh, good place to be and uh, when we got there it was like 8.59 p.m. It took about two hours to drive the 138 miles to Buffalo. We uh, just wanted to juice up and uh, get to Niagara Falls and check into the Hilton Hotel and sleep as quickly as we could. By the time we arrived at the Buffalo Supercharger, we had already been traveling uh, 7 hours and 15 minutes. So we really wanted to just quickly charge and uh, go on to our hotel. I read uh, on some of the posts on Plugshare that uh, the Hilton Hotel only has one charger and it's a uh, J1772 and they would ask you to uh, leave your, your adapter there so that they can unplug you. But I wish I had some video of the Falcon Wing doors opening because it, it really was amazing that it avoided the pipes and the really low ceiling and it didn't hit anything. I was really, really nervous that it would, but uh, I, I guess it didn't, so that was a good thing. Here's a picture with all the info once we got to the Buffalo Supercharger. Here's a picture of my car supercharging. Again, I'm the only one. No, 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 no. You gotta... <laughs> That's not how you open it. Pull, pull, push up. Yeah. There you go. Come on. Stick it in. Come on. Push it in more. There you go. That's it. Ah, perfect. High five. Alright, here we go. We are charging again and we went two hours and uh, yeah, a little bit over two hours, 137 miles, 138 miles, whatever. And now we are charging. Uh, let's see what we get. What we are getting. getting 54 kilowatts wow that's a lot <laughs> that's coming up it is it is getting up there I think the battery needs to be cooled down a little bit probably so we got here with got here with 10% left just as it was estimated If I didn't charge a little bit longer, I would have not been able to get here, so... Anyway, it's, yeah, 27 miles right now. We've gotten 3 miles so far. We're not charging all that fast. We're still not charging all that fast. 15 minutes in, we're at 110 kilowatts. 15 minutes in. 110 kilowatts. Oh, yeah. oh crap, it's dropping. No! It's dropping. All right. So this is the last leg of our trip for tonight. We'll be staying over at the Hilton Hotel uh, overnight and uh, doing some activities in Niagara Falls uh, and then heading over to Toronto uh, sometime in the afternoon. Uh, but here are some stats. Uh, it took us, uh, we got to the hotel about 10, 15 p.m. Uh, which means that the whole trip took about eight and a half hours with all the supercharging stops. With no supercharging stops, it would have taken us six hours and eight minutes. The supercharging took a whopping one hour, 45 minutes, and getting on and off the, the highway took about 37 minutes. That's just freaking crazy. 
Oh, here goes the crossing the border to Canada. So after you cross the border, it's just a few minutes to, to the hotel. And the valet there was really good about directing you to where to charge. And they were pretty impressed with the Model X. And everyone was just like, uh, in awe of how the wings open and pointing and all that stuff. If I had to do this trip over again, would I? Probably not. Uh, this is the last time I'm doing this uh, in the Model X at least uh, with this little range. Uh, I don't feel comfortable um, going on long trips with it. It's really a hassle with the kids and they don't feel all that uh, comfortable in the car as well. So on a long trip is definitely very challenging. So yeah, that's basically it. So uh, wait for my next video uh, where I uh, come back at night and you'll kind of understand how difficult it would be to travel uh, in the Model X with these uh, off the highway superchargers. Uh, until then, uh, please like and subscribe.